Welcome to another episode with Michael Klepek. Today we're diving deep into the world of hydrochloric acid scrubbers, how they work, their different types, and the crucial role they play in keeping industrial emissions under control. So buckle up, because we're about to explore the science and the solutions behind air purification from one of the nastiest substances in the industrial world, HCL. What is hydrochloric acid, HCL? Hydrochloric acid is a highly corrosive, colorless liquid that emits toxic fumes. Its extreme acidity makes it dangerous for both health and equipment. Whether inhaled or in contact with skin, it can cause serious burns, respiratory problems, and long-term damage. The acid is widely used in many industries like metal processing, chemical manufacturing, and petrochemical refining, making it essential to handle and contain its emissions safely. How does an HCL scrubber work? An HCL scrubber is designed to prevent harmful hydrochloric acid fumes from escaping into the atmosphere. Essentially, it captures the acid-laden gas and scrubs it clean using a liquid, typically water or a neutralizing solution. Here's a basic breakdown of the operation. Gas enters the scrubber, contaminated air enters the system and gets directed into the scrubber's absorption tower or chamber. Spraying. A spray of cleaning liquid or water is introduced which traps the harmful gases in liquid droplets. Purification. The gas is cleaned as it passes through the scrubber, leaving behind the pollutants in the liquid phase. Clean air exits. Once the air is purified, it is vented out, ready for safe release into the environment. Types of HCL scrubbers. Scrubbers come in various designs, each suited to different types of industrial requirements. Let's explore the main types of HCL scrubbers. 1. Venturi scrubbers. A Venturi scrubber works by speeding up the gas flow through a narrow passage called the Venturi throat. As the gas moves faster, liquid is sprayed into the stream, breaking into fine droplets that capture pollutants. This type of scrubber is highly effective at capturing fine particles and gas phase pollutants like HCL. Venturi scrubbers are particularly useful for high-velocity systems, providing efficient gas-liquid contact in a compact design. These scrubbers can handle large volumes of air and are commonly used in industries that emit a wide range of pollutants like NaOH, Cl2, H2S, and HCN. 2. Spray Towers Spray towers are a simpler design, where the contaminated air passes through a chamber filled with sprayed liquid. The goal is to maximize the interaction between the gas and the liquid, allowing for effective pollutant absorption. The tower is typically a vertical column where gas flows upwards while liquid sprays downwards, ensuring maximum contact. Spray towers are excellent for handling gases with moderate concentrations of HCL and particulate matter. 3. Packed Bed Scrubbers Packed bed scrubbers feature a tower filled with packing material, which increases the surface area for gas-liquid interaction. As the gas moves through the packing, it comes into contact with the liquid flowing downward, leading to effective pollutant removal. Measuring Efficiency The effectiveness of an HCL scrubber depends on several factors. Contact time. The longer the gas stays in contact with the scrubbing liquid, the more effective the pollutant removal. Surface area. Larger surface areas allow for more efficient gas-liquid interaction. Temperature and pressure. Both play a role in determining how well the pollutants are absorbed by the liquid. Flow rates. Measuring both liquid and gas flow rates helps assess how efficiently the system is running. Operators typically measure the concentration of HCL before and after the scrubbing process, analyze the liquid waste, and monitor temperature and pressure to ensure optimal performance. How can you improve scrubber efficiency? Increase contact time. Let the gas interact with the liquid longer by slowing down the flow. Optimize the surface area. Use packing materials or nozzles that increase the interaction area. Mix the gas and liquid more vigorously. Better mixing leads to more effective absorption. Control temperature and pressure. Lowering the temperature and increasing pressure can help improve absorption rates. Cost and selection. 
The cost of an HCL scrubber varies significantly based on the type, size, and complexity of the system. For smaller laboratory units, prices range from $5,000 to $10,000, while large industrial installations can cost hundreds of thousands of dollars or more. When choosing a scrubber, it's important to assess the following. Pollutant load. How much HCL is in your emissions? Technical requirements. What temperature and pressure are you working with? Budget. How much are you willing to spend on the installation and long-term maintenance? Custom design systems are usually the best option for large-scale industrial use, as they can be tailored to meet specific needs and local environmental regulations. Advantages and disadvantages. Advantages. Highly effective. Scrubbers can remove up to 99.9% .9 of pollutants, making them one of the most efficient air purification systems available. Versatile. They can handle a wide range of pollutants, from HCL to particulate matter and more. Cooling effect. Scrubbers can cool down gases, which is beneficial in high-temperature industrial processes. Disadvantages. High water usage. Scrubbers consume significant amounts of water, which adds to operational costs. Waste generation. The scrubbing process produces liquid waste, which needs to be treated before disposal. Cold weather concerns. In colder environments, the scrubbing liquid can freeze, requiring additional measures to prevent system failures. And there you have it, HCL scrubbers in all their glory. From Venturi scrubbers to packed beds, we've covered the key players in keeping our air clean and industries safe. Whether you're running a small lab or a massive industrial operation, these scrubbers are essential for handling hydrochloric acid emissions. So, if you're looking to scrub it clean, you know who to call. Until next time, keep those emissions in check and the air pure.